some of us may be thinking that we are nobodies, that we are small and insignificant. And we would have thought that our opinions do not matter. Since we do not seem to have any clout, power, popularity, or so-called authority. What we may have failed to realize is that sometimes people who seem to be nobodies could be just as wise or even wiser in their thoughts and in their conduct. Just because such people have nothing of value or significance in the eyes of the world, we may have brushed them off or not taken them seriously when in reality their value or significance can be seen if we look deeper with eyes of faith. In today's reading, we are told of Bethlehem, where, which to the Israelites was a small and insignificant place. But as the reading tells us, but you, Bethlehem Ephrata, the least of the clans of Judah, out of you will be born for me, the one who is to rule over Israel. His origin goes back to the distant past, to the days of old. He will stand and feed his flock with the power of the Lord, with the majesty of the name of his God. They will live secure, for from then on he will extend his power to the ends of the land. He himself will be peace. From what seems like such a small and insignificant place, our Savior Jesus was born. From such a place where nobody would have given any thought of, our King of Kings and Prince of Peace came forth to bring the good news of God's salvation to all. This is why we should never take for granted other people. Take the example of Mother Mary, whose birthday we celebrate today. To others, she was just like any other Jewish girl, nothing great or important. But God made her the mother of his son, Jesus, and mother of God. God had transformed what people think as insignificant to become significant and important if we look with eyes of faith and trust. Let us be thankful and grateful to God for the gift of Mother Mary and also the gift of each and every one of us because all of us are made in His image and we are important and significant in the eyes of God.